Hello, I hope everybody's doing great. This is just going to be a relaxing hangout with me. I've gotten a couple um, nail packages, nail polish packages in the mail, and I thought I'd open them up with you. So if you're interested, stay tuned. So I've been swatching nail polish for most of the day, spring and summer nail polishes. I've also been gathering um, some spring nail polishes for a spring rack nail polish collab. It's nighttime and I can't get my thoughts together. But anyways, I've been getting a bunch of spring polishes together and in the mix, I was, I'm putting away my winter nail rack and there was a nail polish that I just never got to. I ordered it in Polish Pickup November and then I got it you know, close to December and I got sick in December and it's just been a nail polish that's been sitting there that I've been eyeing and looking at all the spring nail polishes. I was like, I got to use, I got to paint my nails with this polish right now because I don't want it to be one of those polishes you put in the drawer and then you don't think about it till the following season. So anyways, anyways, what's on my nails? It's my first and only Night Owl lacquer. It is Bigfoot Believes in You. And like I said, this is uh, from Polish Pickup from November last year. And it is definitely a fall polish. It is a brown base with like copper orange and green and blue flakes in there. I love it. Two easy coats. And uh, I couldn't wait. It, it's bad lighting. It's not quite as, I mean, it's pretty dark. But anyways, I couldn't be bothered. I have, since I wear glasses, it's like a whole, it's a whole thing to get my lighting correct and not glare off my glasses. So I just figured we're, it's just going to be a chill video. I'm just going to do some unboxing. Like I said, I've been swatching throughout the day and I wasn't able to um, get a moment where I had dry nails. <laughs> so I paint my nails. I waited a few hours. I'm dry. I'm in my lounge clothes, so I thought I'd do a relaxing opening with you. So let's get into the glam polish first. So I had a massive wish list for glam polish. It was out of control, so um, I needed to whittle it down to like three different orders. So I opened the first one with you guys. I have swatched all of that polish already and I'll do a video. I think it was 10 polishes all together. So I'll show you the swatches of those. And then, um, so now I, this is the second order and I think I got this one down to 10 polishes as well. <laughs> I always try to keep it around the $100 mark. So I'm not, exactly sure I did agonize over this wish list for a long time so it, it was hard I think so I think I got eight like regular nail polishes and then two toppers so let's get into this one. Oh, and I found out if you watch my other unboxing for glam polish I was uh, really surprised that every nail polish was wrapped in a paper towel. So I was told because these are come from Australia that they have different guidelines and that they are, they have to wrap it in a paper towel or have a secondary, I'm not sure the exact rules, but somebody said that there's that they're following their guidelines and that's why it's wrapped in a paper towel. But I thought it was cool, you know, after I was opening it, cause I, you, I'll use them. So it's, so, you know, sometimes you get something that you can't always recycle. And so I thought it was even better cause I'll use it. All right. So I got a few, you know, it's funny when I do these unboxings, I think about Nurse Jackie. I watched one of her videos and, um, she said, man, I feel like I should open this before I start filming. So it's, I'm not like looking down, but then she's like, then it's not an unboxing. And I think about that every time I do this, cause I feel like it's kind of odd that I'm looking down and opening these things, but 
How do you say it's an unboxing if you unbox it before you start filming? <laughs> all right, wow, this is a, a lot. This, so it's, they're all in these, so I got a, a, a couple different these. Then it's wrapped in individual, and it's wrapped in tissue. Wow, they gotta do a lot, but it is nice that it's shipped. I just watched a, uh, I don't know who it was. It, I was on Instagram and it was just somebody's reel, you know, that popped up. And they opened this huge box from, it was OPI nail polish in there, but I don't remember the company that, that did it. But he opened this big old box and he pulled out like those balloon type packaging bubbles in there and then it was like four nail polishes just sitting at the bottom I'm like well how dramatically different you know how like how well these are wrapped up it just blows my mind that somebody can just throw those nail polishes in that box and ship it okay this one is the scooby gang Oh my goodness, look. Oh my gosh, my lighting's bad, but you could still see that. Oh my goodness, that shimmer pop off of there. And those green, um, it's a lot of glitter. So it's a lot of shimmer and glitter in here. Oh my goodness. I've really been looking for a lot of fun uh, spring and summer nail polishes because I love dark nail polishes so much. So I've been using that as an excuse. So I don't know. If you've heard me say this before, <laughs> but I've been saying, oh, I need to get spring and summer nail polishes, but I think I need to stop saying that because I probably got plenty now. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll just use any excuse uh, to buy new nail polishes, huh? Oh man, this is a long name. Any weirdo wearing a mask is never friendly. Oh yeah, so a few of these are from like last year's Halloween. Oh yeah, that's definitely Halloween. This is definitely not spring and summer. But since it was last year's Halloween polish, I thought I better get it because it probably won't be around for very long. So... These are packaged really well. Oh, and I got, um, let me show you. I got a big order of these from um, Cupcake Polish because they, these are the replacement brushes. Cupcake Polish brushes fit Glam Polish. And because they're the, let me open this skinny little brush, which I hate so much. You know, a lot of people have said that they don't mind glam polishes little brushes but I gave it a try I swatched from the last bunch because a few people said that their brushes don't bother them so I swatched like one or two with that tiny brush and I was like no that tiny brush sucks big time <laughs> okay this one is don't make a sound sounds like it is also I feel like I picked quite a few from their ha Halloween release Oh no, I feel like I, I feel like I see purple in there. You know, the thing that is really rough, I'm, I'm loving all of these polishes, you know, the ones that I got, but the thing that bugs me is that she does not put any description on her nail polish at all. No color. I mean, who puts, there's another polish I'm not sure oh, but there's another company that I was I just was looking at that they don't put a lot like they'll just put like the bare minimum but at least they'll put like a color tone or a base color and what kind of glitter is in there you know what I mean she doesn't put anything so I'm I hate that I don't know so I'll I'll like Google, not Google, I'm old. I'll go, I'll go on YouTube and then type in there, you know, the nail polish so I could see a swatcher that's got it in PR. 
And um, so that's what I did for most of them. And I did find most of them, but there was a couple. Oh, I didn't even read this one. There was a couple that I couldn't find. So, <laughs> okay, this one is Enter My Realm. Ooh, that looks good, huh? Dang, a lot of these polishes are gonna go in the drawer because it's just, the sun is starting to come out. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to see the sun, to walk my dog out in dry grass instead of just mud. Okay, this is another Halloween one. It's red rum, red rum, red rum. <laughs> I wonder if this section, if she pa packaged them separately, because I got like two of these. I wonder if this one was all our older ones. I'm not sure because I haven't been ordering indie nail polishes that long. So I'm not sure um, how long exactly, because she didn't put, you know, on, whoa, oh, this is a topper. This is a topper. So even though this, I mean, red rum was obviously from The Shining, but this is going to be, so let's see, from my memory, this was a black, like black glitter mix, so different size black glitter, and then like gold uh, shimmer flakes, shimmer flakes? I think the shimmer and flakes are two different things. In person here, it is looking like it's shifting to a green, but I'll use this as a topper so I can get some use out of this during the summer. Oh, and then this first one I opened up, this Scooby-Doo one, I'm definitely gonna use that one this summer. Oh, this is my other topper. And this is also for, it's gotta be from Halloween because it's, I'm having an old friend for dinner. That is probably one of my favorite movies. It's Science of the Lamb. I have a huge death head moth tattooed on my thigh. And that, it's from that movie. It's an old movie, so if you haven't, the killer is obsessed with moths. So on the website, this did not look like a topper, but this is something else that, oh, I'm sorry, I'm shaking the camera. This is something else that um, I guess I could say bother, bothers me. It's kind of a strong word, but maybe confuses me is a better way to put it. But on her website, all of her polishes, even the ones I would consider toppers, she has them, oh, like very rarely are they swatched over any other polish. So I got to find videos too to see it swatched so I could see if it has a clear base or not. Um, so I, I seen Janixa, she swatched a lot. I've actually got most of these um, swatch videos from her and I watched her swatch this one and on the website I I did not like it I passed over it super fast but when I watched her swatch it it came off in a clear base and I really really like the colors in this one so when I when I swatched these which is what I did with my last batch I swatched them the ones that I believed were toppers over white polish and black polish so that way we could see what it looks like. All right, so here's the second batch. So hopefully I got some more <laughs> brighter, if that's the right word, you know, summery spring polishes in there. Man, I'm never gonna be worried that one of these are broke, that's for sure. Okay, I got three more in here. So how many did I order? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I ordered nine. This one is, you're cracking me up. All right, this one is like a um, spring, <laughs> spring summer nail polish. It's a light, like a light flaky blue. Ooh, -hoo. oh my God, oh, it is not as bright. Wow, my camera like got excited when it's seen it. Not the camera, but the light. <laughs> it got super excited. Ooh, this is, you're cracking me up. So cracking, it's like the cracking underwater. I don't know. <laughs> it's 
bedtime maybe. But I wanted to look at these polishes with you guys. This brush, get out of here <laughs> with this brush. <laughs> the cool thing about the replacement brushes, you do have to replace these caps, but they're white caps. So it doesn't change the look of this polish bottle, but it is shorter. So this polish bottle uh, lid is taller than the replacement ones I have from Cupcake Polish. All right, this one is, damn that, Thackeray Binks. I don't know what that is. I'm not even gonna try to read it again because I'll just sound dumb. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love everything, man. I love all of these. This looks like a dark green, blue. <laughs> I wrote it down. So when I did look up on Janique's, uh, she did have it like I was hoping. It's very minimal, but she did have some descriptions for these. So I wrote them all down. So whenever I do swatches and make a video for you guys, I'll have a, an idea of what's in there. It's not, it, it's not super detailed. Even for her PR, it doesn't sound like she's putting out super detailed ingredients. Ingredients? I don't think that's the right word. <laughs> but at least I can have some idea. I just wanna know if the word purple's in there. <laughs> this one is Dead Man's Toe. This is a light gray with some black speckles in it. Ooh, looks like there's um, like a pink maybe. Yeah, like a pink shimmer going through it. Dead man's toe. I don't know that, what that refers to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's open it. Sometimes you just want to open it. <laughs> I have such bad lighting. Let's see. Maybe that's not doing nothing for you, huh? What if I did this? <laughs> Sometimes you just want to look at it. All right. So this next one is from Hella Handmade Creations. There's only two in here. But if Cuticula submits a color into any of these like different subscriptions, if it's not purple, I buy it. And since I bought that one, I think there was, the other one was gray. Alchemy Lacquers. Yeah, I think it's Alchemy Lacquers. It's my first, I've, I haven't bought anything from them, but I've heard good things. Oh. Let's see. Let me get in there. Let me get in there. Probably putting you guys to sleep, huh? My energy is very low. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, this looks like a lot like, um, let's see. This one is It Means No Worries from the February Hella Handmade. This looks a lot like, let's see, I'm gonna turn my back, okay? <laughs> Hopefully I look okay back there. Oh, it must have been from last month. That's why. It was from last month. It was my top pick. Oh, that means it's over here. I'm sorry. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Burning Embers from Shattered Fantasy 2 Collection. This was my favorite nail polish I've wore this year. I loved it. But this was described... She does a great job of putting the... Um, ingredients <laughs> in the um, description on her website. So I believe this one said like it was a chocolate brown base. And this one I think was like a um, something red. I can't remember the, the describing word for the red she used, but let's open it. Let's see. 
It looks really similar. We'll have to see. I'll have to compare. So in my swatch video, I'll compare these. Oh my gosh, but look at them right here. Holy geez, they look like they're the same exact color. She made this one and then she's like, oh, I got extra. <laughs> Let me put it in this batch. <laughs> I don't care. I love her. I love everything I've gotten from Cuticula. Oh, I'm actually separating my videos. So whenever I'm doing my hauls for the month, I'm going to start giving Cuticula her own video because that's how much I love them. And I've been ordering them from like these different places. So when I do my swatch reviews, I'm going to isolate Cuticula into her own video. Okay, this one is Land of Lava from Alchemy. It's a little paper. I want to get in it. Oh my goodness. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is another gray. So where's my other? Oh man, I'm trying to find. Look at this. Oh, here we go. Here's the gray from Glam Polish. Oh yeah, there's, they're pretty different. <laughs> look at the like iridescent flakies in there. Oh, they look so beautiful. This is a tiny little bottle. It is 12 milliliters. I feel like 12 is as low as I want to go. I feel like when it's 11, it's getting kind of small. All right, guys. I hope I didn't bore you. I have very low energy, but there's always enough energy left open over to open nail polish. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll see you again real soon. You guys have a good night. Bye.